All right, there is a fairly new Mario 3 hack out uh, that people have been talking about. This is it, United Mario Bros. 3. Let's get this going. This is a new, relatively new hack that came out, I think, in the last month or so, I believe. First thing you'll notice is that there, I think, is some original music to the level, which is something that I like quite a bit. Because a lot of times it'll just be the Mario 3 music, you know, that we've heard a million times, so it's nice to get some different tunes in there. Some, some different chip tunes going. Do, 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 do. Let's go down the pipe and get our goodies. Did you guys know that what, Mar what Super Mario Brothers is really about? You probably think you know by this point, but Mario is actually, I, I only you know realized this um, recently, Mario is actually just about getting money. That's so why you're collecting all these coins. I thought it was about like saving the Mushroom Kingdom and all this stuff, but it's not. It's just it's just about money. It probably is for Nintendo too, don't you think? At this point, at least. At what point do you think it was like totally? Was it ever just a creative endeavor? I mean, they, on Donkey Kong, Miyamoto wanted to make money. They wanted to put a successful thing in there and make money, right? It was always money. <laughs> like right. Uh, Big Slim, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. This game was very intimidating to me as a kid. Was it? You mean re you mean regular Mario Three? You know this is a hack, right? Um, uh, regular Mario Three. Um, I mean maybe the last world was a little bit difficult. Sure. There's a, there's a little bit of merit to that statement when you were a kid. You know, the later stages in Mario 3, especially back then, you know, they weren't, they weren't easy. There's a couple hard stages in there. So it's fine. You, you were allowed to think that when you were a kid, I think. I think that was totally fine. You have my permission as a, you have my permission to think that 30 years ago. New chip tunes are rare for these hacks. They are, and it should happen more often. They used every shade of orange. Maybe they're going for like a, I don't know, an autumn thing here, which is cool. My favorite season. I'm not gonna get them all. Whoa. This is a fun level. Thank you very much for the sub 12 pack Tommy. Is that 12 pack of beer? Is that what that you're always in here? Is that what that is? A voice among many, sub, thank you. P is stored in the balls. You know, I hear that quite a bit. Not just here, but I've seen that on, you know, other social media, like X and <laughs> Twitter or whatever. And people say that, P is stored in the balls. That's like a thing people like to say now. Jokes don't have an infinite shelf life. That one has had its time. Yeah. 
I just saw that comment after feeling after giving my thought on it. I'm, I always see that. It's like I had done a um, a mailbag video. Sometimes I do these mailbag videos where I like answer questions from people that people leave me on YouTube. And um, was that one that's uh, old man yells at cloud? And people always think they're clever, like using that. But it's like a hundred, a hundred thousand people a day use that quote, and it's not, it's not clever. You know when it was clever, the first guy who said it the first time and added the Grandpa Simpson image. Maybe the first time, but the first guy who did it, and that that was the only time. And debatable even then. But it became a thing that people found to be uh, really funny. So we get to hear that every day. Henry the Wizard goes, you're probably right. Hey, I like that. That's good. So Henry the Wizard said, pee is stored in the balls. And we've gone back and forth now talking about, it's like, okay, we've heard it like all over the place. And now Henry the Wizard's like, you know what? Yeah, actually, you guys are right. That's great. I'm glad that you didn't get angry and like leave. That was good. Good job, Henry the Wizard. Press H to pay respects to Henry the Wizard for learning. We got a castle, and listen to the music. It's different. It's nice. Good job. Bum bum bum, ba da da da, bum bum bum. Toad is polite. I mean, yeah, I guess he is, isn't he? I mean, he's not hes not an asshole. He's not like me. So, yeah, I would say so. Toad, Toad's pretty polite. You know what, though? Because uh, he, is, he is a Toad. He's a member of the Mushroom Kingdom, and he's part of the... Uh, the toad species. For the toad species, P is stored in the balls. If you're a toad. <laughs> Do you see Henry the Wizard? How it wasn't funny when I said it? Now just imagine when you said it. Both times. Equally not as funny. Toad is a cunt. He's a polite cunt. There goes monetization on YouTube for this video. We've already done bodily fluids and the the good old C word. <laughs> That's why I'm happy you guys subbed to me here. And also speaking of, of that, uh, Retro Maniac James, thank you very much for the sub, and he's been subbed for 50 months. Thank you. Now on to another 15 months, he says. Oh my god. What will I have done in another 15 months? Maybe another really funny tailspin video. Next time I'll be uh, talking for 45 minutes about uh, Baloo's fingernails. It's going to be great. Just wait and see. I do have th some thoughts on Gizmo Duck. I was think I was thinking I, could, I have a thing I could possibly do about Gizmo Duck, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm answering all the world's important questions. Toad is also a chode, and he rhymes with it, and he is one. That is true. He's a short, fat cock. 
that that toad. I think. See, I think that that's accurate. It's phonetic and accurate. And also, uh, Koala Kawa gift subbed out a bunch uh, more subs to the community. Uh, gift subs out to Zeb Kills. Uh, what is that? Cheese 068. Wang Johnson. Wang Johnson! You can now watch my channel for 30 days without having to watch ads. Is there a Wang Johnson? J Dread 3800. Rage Time Gaming. Wraith Blade. Johnny Bananas. Uh, Rich Substance. Blue 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 Lulu. Blue, blue. Box Ghost, Desert Buckeye, five dollar cheese it. Electrohead Dante, how you doing, Electrohead? Dark Force two five six, Zaja Hawker ninety six, M W K, Robster eighty eight, and Annabelle Puss, Annabelle's pin, Puss, Annabelle pin, Annabelle pins. Thank you very much. Those are all gift subs from, from Koala. Once again, thank you very much, Koala, for those. And bits coming in from Retro Gaming Gallon. Slack dog. Thanks, guys. My God. Hype train is close. We're going to have two days in a row with a hype train? I hadn't had a hype train in, like, five months or something. And now we're having, like, two... And of all things, uh, it was G Darius. You wouldn't think a shmup stream would start a hype train, would you? But it did indeed. Now Mario, Mario, I could see it happening for. Is there any character that's more popular in the video game world than Mario? That's pretty much, there's not really a comparison, is there? Like what, like Minecraft Steve? No, he's not more popular than Mario. Minecraft maybe sold more, possibly. But the thing when they say Minecraft sold more, here's the thing though about Minecraft selling more copies than Mario Brothers or whatever. You can compare Super Mario Brothers to Minecraft and be like, oh yeah, Minecraft like outsold Mario, but there's been like 500 Mario games. What if you combine all the sales of all the Mario games? How much more would it be? At least like the mainline ones. Mario 64, Super Mario Brothers, Mario 3, Mario 2, you know, Mario Galaxy, like all, all like the real ones. Mario Odyssey, you know, all that. Combine them all and then compare that to Minecraft sales. I don't know. No more G Darius. Well, I had made it to the end of it. it um, not for right now. I, I, I might come back to something. I really like that game a lot. Megastar64, thanks for the sub. More people play games now. Oh, uh, and it's like comparing that to, and well, there was less people too, like in the 80s and 90s, right? Like the population has gone up. So it's like, is it even comparable? Sounds almost like it's dying on this level. <laughs> okay, that was the shortest. Whoa. Did it, did it, do? So far, this is um, 
very balanced in difficulty, just like the real game. And I kind of like that because, you know, sometimes they start these games off and it's just all Kaizo or whatever. So I would say so far this is very, like, on the same level as the regular. Look at his hat going back and forth. <laughs> on the same level of difficulty as the original game so far, but we'll see how this goes. I've heard you like mushrooms, right? Check out this mushroom here. On to world two. It says here 830 million Mario games sold, 300 Minecrafts sold. I mean, where are you getting that information from? Thank you for cheering and unlocking the cherry. We have a Pac-Man theme here for my loyalty badges and things. And uh, when you cheer and subscribe and all that stuff, you can unlock uh, badges are related to Pac-Man. They're just fruit. Which also relates to my icon on Twitch, which is a pretzel. And that's just because I like pretzels and I like Pac-Man. So that's why it's the icon. Sometimes people ask that and say, why? That should go on my FAQ page, I just realized. On my blog. Let's put that on there. But that's why, because people always ask that. Why is it a pretzel? Why is it a pretzel? I, I like Pac-Man. And I like pretzels. That's it. It's not a very... It's not a very uh, interesting reason. Yeah, there's certain uh, cheer badges that we've never even seen or nobody's gotten yet. Uh, like the pretzel and the Galaxian ship that you can unlock. Isn't there a key? Does somebody have the key? I feel like there, maybe we did a key and like a bell or something. Pretzels are loads of carbs though. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't really eat them that much anymore. I'm like staying away from pizza and all that kind of stuff too, but. That doesn't mean I don't like it, though. Yeah, the key and the bell. Which I think the key is from Super Pac-Man. I believe. Retro RM, thank you very much for gifting us up to Tasty Buffet. Oh, that just set me back. Great. Was this gonna be a maze? A maze in Mario? What? I give up. Kaiser V Man, thanks for the sub as well. Let's try this again. Whoa. Uh, the old break screen that we retired used to show all the bit badges you could unlock. Not sure if anybody realized that. Oh no, they never realized that. We, we played the um, thing over and over for years. They never read it, I don't think. Just the same way they don't read Be Right Back. Mike is on break, Be Right Back. <laughs> They're not reading that. They're just waiting for the part when I scream and punch something. I mean, let's be real. When's the part where he's gonna get angry? That's the part I like. 
That's what that's what gets them off. Am I wrong? What are you all here for? What are you waiting for to happen? Is there another reason? You're gonna change your name to Tasty Taint? Ooh. I'd like to thank my Mike for being my dad. And he plays video games and talks to us. You're a rotten little shit. Not only does your mother not like you, but I don't like you either. <laughs> that's why you that's why you haven't seen either of us in 30 years. Thank you wooden hooligan 90 for the uh, bits. Thanks for at least talking to me though, Dad. And then there's another guy that's in my stream, and his name is uh, Mike Matei is my father. Are you in here right now? And then we got then we got this other guy. So either we have some members of the chat that are like to goof around. Or, I have fathered many children. What do you think it is? Wait until you find out. <laughs> this is a joke. Your cherries are gone? Well, um... <clears throat> You're gonna say that I had something to do with that, too? I have no channel points. What's happening with Twitch? We went over the channel point thing yesterday. I'm not doing it again. We, can we link the blog to this person? I'm not explaining that. I can't do that every stream. And then tell me afterwards how you feel, like legitimately. I want you to read the entire thing and then come back and tell me what you think about what I said. Nobody's done that yet. Because they don't want to read all that. It's a wall of text and they don't want to read it. Once again. To be fair, I don't, I don't like to read all the instruction manuals either, so I can't really blame you. <laughs> iPod Arena, thank you very much for the sub. And Koala gifted a sub to Mike Matei's Long Dong. Thank you very much. Mike Matei's Long Dong. Uh, you just got a gift sub from Koala. And I, is it iPod Arena? I always say like iPod. I don't know how to say your name. I just say iPod. iPod Arena. People read that post all the time. They come back and say they understand it and my reasoning. Uh, well, I see, I, I always miss those comments. <clears throat> but that's good though. Indie Dev Guy, thank you also for the sub. I read it, Mike, it makes a lot of sense. Oh, there, there's one right there. Now you gotta t explain it to, uh, who was it? Retro Gaming Gal. Explain it to Retro Gaming Gal now. In, indie dev guy, I want you to get together with Retro Gaming Gal and explain this situation. Get her on board. Because <laughs> she seems confused. You guys gotta help me out in these streams. Like, seriously. Here's the thing, like, some, I'll explain stuff to you guys and reasoning, and then somebody will be like, oh, I get, I get why things are that way. And then there'll be another stream, but it'll be a new person. 
that comes in here, and then I have to explain shit again. That's where you guys can like really help me out. When, because I know that some of you guys are in here fairly often. So for the guys that are here and you've heard me explain this shit like ten times, if you can help me out. That would be very helpful. Uh, Slug Trails, thank you very much for the sub. You went flying. There was no green face in the sky questioning your training. Ah, um, sorry, Jaguar. Yes, I remember. I remember. Atari Jaguar. You know what? That episode, I didn't really uh, do too much for. I drew the title card, which was, I didn't, I really dislike that title card. Um, I dislike most of them, to be honest with you. But uh, I didn't really do anything for that episode. Um, there was a lot of episodes I recorded gameplay for, but not, not the Atari Jaguar one. To my recollection, at least. I don't think so. The reason I bring that up is because I didn't record the gameplay for that one, I don't really remember the name of the game. I've seen it, I, like, I've seen the episode, but um, usually like if it's one that I recorded gameplay and stuff for, then I'm like more like, you know, I can talk about it, but that one I didn't, so I don't remember what the game was. Um, I just remember the, the animated face going around. Where did you learn to fly? Does anybody remember the name of the game? I don't remember it. Mike, I read your post and I see your points and respect your decision. For the first point, that's the first time I've ever heard of that. <laughs> For the first point though, about not being able to edit later if the alerts came on, could you not record the stream footage locally and emit the alerts? Oh, um, I could. Uh, that is true, but then there's all the other points that I brought up. Right? So there's like, there's like 30 other points that I brought up. You know? So even if I did, there'd still be all those other issues. Right? So. You've never thought about it until now, but Mike is the only streamer that doesn't wear big ass headphones. It's not just that, but it's um, it's the microphone too. Cause if I had like a micro, like say there's like a microphone like right here, like the streams would be like this. I have the, I'd have like the microphone, and you guys know me, right? I'm like maybe not at the moment, but like when I get into these games, I'm like all over the place. I'm slamming my fist down. I'm going crazy, and then I'd be like bumping into the microphone and shit. I've also tried lapel mics before, and I would try having the lapel mic here, but again, I like move all over the place. You know, I'm getting up, I'm getting down, and I had the mic with the battery pack and all that, so that I could get up and down and all that. But the fact that I'm like moving all over the place, you hear like all this like rustling. So I tried um, streams where, I recorded it locally where I've done that and like I'm playing the game whatever and then I'm like you're doing this stuff and like the whole thing and you just you hear like lots of rustling and it just didn't sound good and it's all it's a whole thing so I've tried that too so um but uh you know you guys like watch these streams all the time and there's like hundreds of people that watch and then the people watch it on YouTube occasionally people are like why don't you why don't you get a different microphone or whatever how come your microphone sucks or whatever I should I should tell you the microphone I have is a $2,000 Sennheiser microphone it's the same microphone that Game Grumps uses on their show it's a very high quality microphone it's just that like I said like when I'm re if I'm recording a scripted video, um, like those mailbag things I do or whatever, I'll have I, I use a different microphone and I have the microphone right up to my mouth 
and then you just hear my voice and you're not hearing like all this background noise and shit. Um, so I'm very like aware of it, but like I want it to be like this. And especially, especially for this reason, You know, and like the, all the controller stuff and whatever. I want you to, and also, there's a lot of reasons why. I want you to hear it like you're here with me. Because if I had the if I had the microphone like up like this, and I'm like slamming my fist down, you'd probably hear like, you know, it, it would be like totally different. So I want you to have that like room sound. And by the way, again, for you guys that are in here all the time and you've heard me talk about this 75 times, I'm sorry, but I always get asked this. And some people just don't understand. So when you see people come in and, and asking these kind of questions, I don't want to have to keep like repeating myself and shit. Again, and that's why I have like blog posts for things like that that get asked 10 million times, but then people still ask. Because they either don't read it or whatever. You know, or they didn't see the stream where I explained it. So, that's why I say, that's where I can use your guys' help. The middle lapel mic was shit, yeah. Get a Bob Barker mic. That'd be awesome. Bob Barker had a really long, thin, microphone and um, I wonder if you could find that I wonder what that exact microphone is I would like to actually get that exact microphone because my microphone over here it, it's it's long and it's thick but it's off camera here I just have it laying on the table I used to have it hanging that had it hanging above me, but that was not good for the XLR cable at all. How many worlds is this hack? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out, aren't we? Um, okay, I got to like break that somehow. Can I like, wait, can I do this? Damn. Um. Dum ba Shit. This is weird. Can I bring this with me? Hmm. Shit. Bam. Okay. Um, ah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what they wanted out of me. Okay, let's try that again. Like United Mario Bros. This is supposed to be like United States. Like what is up with this hack? Like, so far it's pretty, like, well-designed, but it's like, what is this theme? Like, it's, like, odd. The United States of America bros. <laughs> okay. There's, like, other ones I've done that are, like, you know, uh, Super Mario Adventure. Oh, come on. Mario Superstar or something like that, you know? It's like, okay, that makes sense. Those are good, like, names for Mario hacks. Uni United, United States of the Mario Bros. <laughs> it's like, what? You know what it is, I bet? This one just came out. I think I just figured it out. So, like... I don't know, maybe a year ago, I didn't play it on stream, but I know that there's a, I think it's Super Mario World, or maybe it's Mario 3, but uh, I think there's a Super Mario World hack called Brazil Super Mario, and it was pretty popular. 
maybe I'll play that someday. So maybe somebody saw that and was like, no, we need a United States one. And then they made this. <laughs> I wonder if that's what it is. It's like a reactionary thing. Like, how come we don't have one? Is this a fan-made version of the game? Of, of Mario 3? That's great. Um, really. So, um, there is, so, um, that, sorry, that's just a little surprising. But, um, so they make uh, Mario hacks. So basically, th there are people that over for 10, 15 years that would, they'll take the original games and they will uh, mod them, hack them, change them. People that like to design video games, and they will change the levels around so that um, people can experience these games again or play these games again. Because people that are like us, that have us retro gamers that have grown up with these games and we've played them 10 million times, it's like listening to your favorite song like Mario 3 was like a classic right so it's like we played it so many times that we love it but it got tiresome because it's like we've seen the same levels 8 million times so people started making their own versions of the games so that's what it is it's a it's a NES hack and they make them for Super Nintendo and pretty much everything These levels seem shorter than the original. Still great though. Um, so far, I guess, I feel like I'm missing a lot I, though too. Like on some of these levels, I kind of feel like if I went back into them, are there like alternate routes and stuff that I'm not seeing or I don't know. That's definitely a thought I was having as well, but I think I might be like not exploring every single thing because it seems like it'll take me down like a pipe or something and then all of a sudden the level ends but then but like I missed like a bunch so maybe they like intend you to go back into the levels or something like I don't know I should, I should see if that's a thing. I know you can in Mario World, but you might you might not be able to do that in this. I mean, so far it's been mostly pretty easy, but we'll see. Miyamoto himself put this together while he was in the bathroom. That is true. Uh, Mike And Mike likes pizza? What, Michelangelo? Me? What are you talking about? I mean, if you mean Michelangelo, I think we all know this. I see. Cheers. I am not sure on the distinction between mods and hacks and reimaginings and whatnot. Okay, um, that's fair. Not everybody's heard of it. Um, so, and I mean, there's another term too. It's like homebrews. Um, so, like a mod and a hack is like kind of the same. Um, but basically when you say like hack, it'd be like you take Mario 3 and you hack the game to make like another version of it. Um, kind of the same thing for mod too. Um, but then there's also homebrews, which for me, I, I think to be another category, that's like a totally original game, new characters, new sprites. So it'd be like right now, if you're like, I want to make a new game for the NES, 
it's not going to be Mario or anything that you've ever seen before. It's going to be original characters, original levels, all that. That would be like a homebrew where this is like they hacked Mario to make a new Mario. So that's hacks and the homebrews. I, I kind of interchange the terms mod and hack a little bit um, depending on what it is. Um, and then reimaginings, you could also use their, that term too. It, it, like it all like applies. It's like whatever. I wouldn't get too uh, hung up on it. I've been making videos about these things for forever. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I've been making NES hack videos and su Super Nintendo hacks videos and things f for like probably over a decade. I wonder when my first one was. I don't know. I remember I did one on like Castlevania Blood Moon. Um, I don't know if that was my first, but I know that was an early, early one that I did. Um, and uh, people debate on that a lot. Be like, oh, it's a hack. It's a mod, and it becomes like a whole discussion. And as somebody who's been talking about this crap for 15 years or something. It doesn't matter. The, the point is, it's a new version of these games that you can play. They mixed it up. Maybe you'll have fun with it. Some are better than others. Don't worry about the terminology too much. That's how I feel about it. Uh, Anonymous gifted this up to Supermaker64. Thank you very much. Are you into any Super Mario World hacks? Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of streams of Mario World hacks. Uh, there's the really uh, good ones that are the uh, Super Mario World design contest hacks, um, where it's like a fan community thing, and they it'll be like one person makes one level and then they like vote on it in the game. So you go into a level and it's like, this is number 63, you know, and then you go into another level and so this is number 10. So like level 10 is probably a lot better designed than level like 89, you know? Um, those ones are really cool. I, I like those a lot. And those, those are Super Mario World ones. So uh, those are great. Um, I've, I've played a lot of other ones too. Remember Rainbow Realms with the final? Yeah. That, I remember that one was like mostly really good until that last one where everything, you couldn't see anything. I hated the end of that, but that was like, a, some of them are like a weird case like that where it's like, they could be like mostly good, but then they do like one thing to mess it up or some, some of them are really a mixed bag, you know? Um, it, it depends. How do I get to this castle in here? Dude, in that pipe. Will this pipe take me there? Let's see, what pipe takes me there? No. The other pipe. This one, right? Somebody should do a Yo Noid hack where you play as Papa John. Hey, I haven't seen any Yo Noid hacks, so I'd take anything I could get as long as it was decent. Instead of Yo Noid, I think there's probably better things to do than that, but. I think though, you know, hacking NES games is not easy. So what happens, and Super Nintendo games and stuff, so what happens is you end up with a lot of like Mario hacks because people have made, what I've learned over the years is that people have made programs for like Mario hacks. So it makes modding 
Mario easier, and I think that there are Mega Man ones as well. So you'll find a lot of Mega Man hacks, and you'll find a lot of Mario hacks, because there's programs to do it. Where, when you come to other games, like let's say Yo Noid, nobody's written a program to make modding the game Yo Noid a thing that makes it easy to do. So it'd probably be very difficult to do. So you, then you're talking about something that, that would be really, really difficult to do, for a game that not that many people will probably play. So the, you know, what they're gonna get out of doing it compared to how much work it would be, that's why you don't get it. What needs to happen is somebody needs to make some kind of a program to where somehow it can mod like other NES games. There needs to be more people making programs to mod games, is the thing. Because everybody's like, oh, I want to get into modding, and what's the first thing you want to do? You want to make Mario, Zelda, Mega Man, and that kind of thing, because it's like the popular stuff. But what actually needs to happen is there needs to be programs to make it easier to do mods, I think. There's a Jackal level editor that lets you make your own Jackal game. Hey, more people should try to use that program. So that that's one that somebody did. Somebody made a program for Jackal, apparently. Is there a name for that program so people can find it? Um, so that's cool. And Jackal's a great game, so th they should make more Jackal hacks. I, I love Jackal, and I would play all kinds of Jackal hacks, but, you know, I don't think there's many people using that program. Now people need to know that that program exists and make some hacks for it, you know? But that's great though, because, you know, that's a game that deserves a program, because that's a great game. Somebody could do a program to hack Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm sure that would come in handy. Probably all kinds of things you could do to it if you could hack it, you know? By the way, I heard something about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I didn't get a chance to test it yet. But... I mean, it's like if I wasn't in the middle of doing this, I, I would do it. But apparently, anybody want to go check for me? Apparently, you can use the bomb. You can use the cane to extinguish the bomb. I feel like I would have tried that, or somebody would have, or somebody would, have, or somebody in the chat. You know, I've had thousands of people watch me play Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I think somebody would have brought it up. But somebody said that to me recently, and I'm like, uh, maybe. Could be. Oops, I didn't bother to check yet. You are guilty of modding your dick with a a a TP. Dandelion. Dandelion subbed. Thank you very much. Do you turn yourself into a toilet paper roll dispenser? Fuck. Does this make any sense? Thank you. 
if he doesn't answer, ban him. Yeah, that's the thing. They'll come in and they'll be like, I modded my dick with a TP or whatever. And then I'm like, okay, well, yeah, what, tell, what, explain it to me. Then what's that about? And then they, then they just don't say anything. This is, tip this is typical. That's what live streaming is like. If you if you never knew, if you didn't ever live stream yourself, and you're like, I wonder what doing that's like. That's what it's like. You ask a question, and somebody doesn't respond to you, and then and then you immediately have to move on to the next thing that's completely unrelated. So people watch back these streams, and they're like, Wait, what the hell is he talking about? Wasn't he just talking about a, a dick TP? And now he's talking about, like, HDMI cables? Like, it's just, it makes no fucking sense. drunk shortly after that kind of comment. I mean, there's uh, that could very well be true. This chat is the opposite of those brain training games. Oh, like uh, Brain Age? Toilet paper, like, TP like toilet paper. <laughs> But making it into a TP is a whole is a whole different level. Um, I guess you could take the toilet. So you have your like erect cock, and then you take the toilet paper and you could like lay it over your cock, and then but you'd have to like leave a little door. <laughs> you'd leave a little TP door. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure there's a way to get in and out, you know what I mean? When you're making a dick TP. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, I, I hate this. <laughs> so much. There's like, all right, there's like 10 million of these. I'll never be able to get them all. I was like, oh, maybe I'll be able to collect all those. Not happening! And we're back to dumb fuck discussion. Well, it was a nice 20 minutes. Did I, was I doing good for 20 minutes? That's a record for me. Well, I don't know, what do you want to talk about? I mean, that's what, that's what was brought up to me. So, that's what you get. Shit. Oh, fuck me. Yay. Can you just walk over it? <laughs> Come on! Get up there! Do 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 Wow, that's difficult. So, this is super challenging so far. Megalodon says, "Hey, Mike, the cane does not work on the bombs. You just tried it." Thank you very much for uh, looking, because uh, I, I would have done that, but I didn't want to like interrupt this in the middle of this game. 
All right, so that guy that said that was full of shit. See, he, he came on to one of my videos, I think, and he was like, you guys are so stupid, you don't even know you can like defuse the bombs with the cane. And then, come to find out, not even true, huh? Of course. Hey man, people just talk out of their ass. Or they, that guy was like drunk. And he thought, he was like, he's probably like, oh, dude, that, that fucking cane fucking extinguishes that bomb. Definitely. I'm going to fucking tell Mike Matei without even, like, actually checking it. And he's like, you dumbass, you use the fucking cane. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna double check that later, and I'm gonna fucking verify it on my own. But thank you, I, be I believe you though. The fuck? Oh, I need a. No, the dude is full of shit. If you think you're gonna get hit by a bomb, though, I figure you can actually evade some damage by jumping before it detonates. Uh, what I do is... I, so the guy, the guy's like walking along, right? And I'm, I'm walking along. As soon as he always drops the bomb, so as soon as you touch, and then I turn around and go the other direction. Because I find if you pass him and you keep going past him, you get hurt a lot. So you immediately turn around and go back. That's the best method I found. What are my thoughts on Harry and the Hendersons? Um, I haven't seen it, it like literally since the 80s. I remember there's a movie and I believe a TV show and I've seen them both. I don't remember the movie at all. And I think here and there I used to watch the probably short-lived TV show and uh, that's like back in like Small Wonder era, I think. Man, when the, when the hell was that show? Hold on a second. Or am I making this up? No, there. No, I'm not making it up. Let's say yeah, there was a show. What year was it? Ninety-one. Man, I thought it was like earlier than that. That was the eighties. Nineteen ninety-one. Yeah. Anyway, there was a there was a show. Um, I remember seeing like one or two episodes of it, and it was nothing I cared about it was just I used to just watch so much TV you know we didn't have all this crap back we didn't have Facebook and Twitter and discord and I well I don't use that anyway and, and uh, Instagram and YouTube and all this shit right so we just had regular, you know, TV. So I would just like watch. So you, just, you know, you end up watching all these crappy shows on TV. So that I just would see stuff like that, Harry and the Hendersons or whatever the hell, you know, shows. That's what we used to do. Just watch whatever the hell was on, you know. And it was. Um, I don't remember the show. It wasn't something that appealed to me. I f I found him to be like very like grotesque and it was just not like I just didn't care and it was like that so wait so on that right he's kind of basically like Bigfoot right so here's my thought on Bigfoot right so people always talk about um you know what like UFOs right oh are UFOs real or is, are ghosts real or is Bigfoot real the Bigfoot one though here's my thing about Bigfoot so, so, okay, so, like, aliens, right? Okay, let's say aliens are real. Like, that would be, like, crazy, right? So I can understand why people are interested in that. Ghosts, if ghosts were real, that would be crazy. I can understand why people are interested in that. But the Bigfoot one, 
let's say that Bigfoot was real. He's like a hairy guy walking around in the woods. What does it matter? So, like, right? If, let's say he's out there right now and he's, he's walking around in the woods. Okay, and? Like, I don't see how it matters if he's real or not real. You know, let's if aliens were real, they, they might come down and start shooting fucking laser beams or whatever the fuck. You like, you, you know, we might have some trouble. So I can understand the interest in that, but the fucking the 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 Bigfoot thing, I don't know, man. I just don't fucking care. And like, so like Harry and the Hendersons, I'm like, all right, so they got a big like fuzzy ape guy like living in the house or whatever. I I don't care. So what if they did? So what? Okay, they, they did. They had this big ape guy like living in the house. Okay, end. I don't know, it just totally doesn't, like, interest me, like, at all. <laughs> so that's my thoughts on Harry and the Han Hendersons. It couldn't be less interesting to me. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> but, but Dan, never mind, I'm wrong. Dan Aykroyd, though, is all in on Bigfoot. <laughs> See, he, lo he just loves everything. I, I love that about him. He's, Dan Aykroyd's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Bigfoot. I, I'm all in on Bigfoot. And then he goes and he'll tell you like everything about it. He's like total uh, a believer on that. Man, he was on a, dude, I think I've mentioned this before, but he was on a podcast thing or some show and he was with his dad. And him and his dad tell a story about going into a seance when Dan was a kid. And they talk about this trumpet flying around in the sky, in the air, and like the dad like backs him up on it. So I don't like the whole thing is like it's just fucking funny as shit. I don't know. But Dan Aykroyd's all in on Bigfoot. <laughs> So there you go. If you ever wanted to know Mike Matei's take on Harry and the Hendersons, that there you go. There it is. Boy, wasn't that a fucking waste of everybody's fucking time. What next? What's the next question? <laughs> Fuck. What if Bigfoot's an alien? Well, if he is, then that makes it a little bit more interesting, I guess. You don't want a best friend that's Bigfoot? I don't care. Dan Aykroyd has a beautiful, thin dick? No, dude. Don't fucking say that. That's just not fucking the truth. You're getting stories mixed up. So, um... You, what you might be thinking about is Drew Carey's novel all about thin dicks, okay? Dan, a and here's why you might have this mistaken. Dan Aykroyd got his dick sucked by a ghost. There's two different things going on, okay? I don't want, I don't want you to get like, these, all these stories mixed up. Can we please keep things straight? We can't just have a total, you know, lunacy here. We have to keep these stories straight. This is important. This is important. Dan Aykroyd has a perfectly normal penis. He literally is exactly centered on the bell curve. Perfectly average in every way. Oh, he has an average cock? All right. I don't have a lot of information on that, but um, Pat now Patrick Stewart, um, he was on a talk show uh, talking about his, uh, you know, like fucked up cock. He couldn't tell whether he was circumcised or uncircumcised, which if you can't tell, that gives you a good idea. Yeah, like you, you look down and you're like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on down there. You know, you're, it's like, 
So it's like, it's like some kind of like fucking fucked up shit going on. I don't know. There we go. Is this it? There we go. Here's Boom Boom. Wasn't he talking about his circumcision? That I just said that, didn't I? Yeah. Patrick Stewart's cock has been through some shit. Apparently. Old School of Games 79 says, My dick is messed up. Your dick is messed up? What's wrong with your dick? Mike, who was your TV crush growing up? TV crush? Um... I don't know. Um... Probably Mr. Belvedere. Probably. Probably Mr. Belvedere. He's my, he's my type. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. Mike doesn't get attracted to fictional characters. You know, never heard him talk about it. I, I don't, yeah, I don't really. If there is something and I ever think of it, I'll let you know. But like right now, I can't think of anything. is give you guys some kind of joke answer like that. Like, oh, I don't know, Mr. Belvedere. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. Fuck. I thought I could drop down there. Joyce DeWitt. Yeah, there you go. Joyce DeWitt. Somebody said the Taco Bell dog. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Huckleberry Hound. Down. I don't know why I'm like doing this. I'm like having a fucking brain fart here. You haven't played Super Mario Brothers 3 in tw in like 20 years, but you don't remember it looking like this. Now it's getting suspicious. The other person I was willing to take the benefit of the doubt, but two in one stream. I'm not, I'm gonna say that that's bait now at this point. It's a little too coincidental. If it happens to be serious, this is a hack. 
minutes as much as I'm going into. We've already been through this. It's absolutely bait, Mike. Plus, we all know Mario 3 sucked anyway. Which is, which is also bait. So you're trying to like trick me by telling me that, you're alerting me that that's bait, but your comment's also bait. Okay. That was an, an, an interesting method. I don't think I've seen somebody attempt that uh, method before. So at least that was kind of an original way to do it. I'll give you some credit on that. Way too many people don't pay attention to stream layouts and titles. Well, let's see, what does this say? It says, it says United Mario Brothers 3. You know what, I'll put the word hack in there too. Hack. Maybe that'll help. But can't, wouldn't you see like United Mario Brothers 3 and be like, hmm. Why does it say United Mario Brothers 3? That might indicate that it might be different. Oh, man, the bar of like is is like I think it's here, but it's like really like it's like way it's like way down. Cotton candy trees. Don't they look delicious? Cotton candy on a summer day. It's one of Leonard Nimoy's greatest hits right there. God damn it. Well, now I'm dying a little bit. Maybe it'll start to get harder now. You like Super Mario Brothers games on the NES? Me too. just nice and innocent sincere man and you're being an asshole to him for no good reason it wouldn't be the first time they should realize by now i am i've done this before and I've, i'm already an asshole so maybe they could also like realize that you know they could have learned from past experience and been like hey this guy's an asshole i'm gonna go into another person's stream who's a little bit uh nicer to deal with. But they didn't learn that lesson either. You know, I tell you right up front. Because what am I going to fucking do? I don't want to, I don't want to fucking lie to you. So, fuck. At least you, at least you get fucking reality from me. Like some of these other motherfuckers who just fucking lie through their teeth and pretend like they're, they're like they're your best fucking friend. I don't know you guys. You don't. I don't know you. You don't know me. Fuck. I just noticed your name. What, just now? And I watched your playthrough of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I didn't read the title of the stream. Well, that's good. You're At least you're admitting that. I just noticed your name because I watched you on YouTube. What, so you just found me? I, 
I'm uh, as, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> In more ways than one. play the same games over and over <laughs> because I have fucking mental problems. They're not the same though. I mean, it's different. This is different. It's different! It's the same, but it's different. <laughs> this new guy's like, why is he yelling? <laughs> why is he yelling now? It, mental problems is why, okay? There's a lot of them happening here. This what you should, okay, since you're new, what you should understand is that for me, this is my therapy, okay? This is what I do for therapy for myself. That's why I do this, okay? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but that's one of the reasons. That's one of, like, a hundred reasons, but... It's all about mutual verbal abuse. Yeah. Oh, I, I like the guy that comes into my streams and he goes, hey, Mike. You know? I read the comment and he goes, hey, Mike. And then I read it and he goes, fuck you. And I'm like, ah, I like that guy. That guy's great. <laughs> Broom Hatter, thank you very much. And, uh, or just an evitable sub, thank you very much. And Broom Hatter says, you play the same thing because you also have mental problems, haha. -ha. You're a Pokemon guy. So, I see, okay, so I have Carpal Tunnel, but not as bad as you. So you have the Carpal Tunnel stuff. But I do have to say, you know, video games. I'm sure are a contributor. I think the worst thing, uh, more so than the video games, is editing and using a mouse. Using the computer mouse, I think, does it worse than anything. Or probably using using the phone and using the computer mouse. I think those are the worst things. Um, yeah. So using like iPhone, using the mouse, those are really bad for carpal tunnel. And then on top of that, I do the video game stuff. I know that you do a lot of like video game, like Pokemon and all that. That probably is a big contributor to the problem, you know. But that's the thing, is like, I, I love my video games too. I wouldn't know what to do without the video games, right? So, it's like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Yeah, he got the carpal tunnel surgery. Um, you gotta get approved for it, it's like not the, they don't always approve you for it. There's a thief on a flying ship. The king's magic wand has been used against him. Please help us, okay? You type all day at work and then you play Pokemon all night. It caught up with me. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you, do you use the mouse a lot when you're doing the typing and all that? Is it also a lot of mouse involved? And you and don't you play that stuff on the 3DS, man? That'll do it. I did a. Uh, you said the poster on the wall here. I did a stream. I remember of Contra 4 on 3DS, and man, you want to talk about something that would fuck my hands up? You play three. Contra is like an intense game, right? So there's Contra 4 on three. Uh, I think it was like DS or 3DS or whatever. And I'm fucking sitting there playing like this intense Contra game, hours and hours. You want to talk about a good way to fuck your hands up? That's a good way to fuck your hands up playing a lot of like 3ds and shit you know and i i love 3ds and ds and all that but holy shit the probably the better way to do it would be some kind of adapter It'd probably be a little better if you have a controller like connected like a separate controller and use like use the 3ds as a um as a console, like I have a consoleized uh, Game Gear with a controller, so that'd be better. So you know what you should do? You should get the you should get the DS and the 3DS stuff on the computer and play with a controller. It'd probably be better for you. Maybe you could even set it up with a tablet, um, with a pen or something like in an emulator on the computer. That would probably maybe help the problem if you want to continue playing the games and not like affect the carpal tunnel. Because I know you had the surgery, but I think like after you know after years and years go by, I think the problem can come back, right? So if you don't want it to return, saying, those are some of my thoughts on it. Because it's like I deal with it too, but not to the extent that you've had it. From 
from excessive movements that never change. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like using the damn, like the fucking mouse. You're doing the mouse click over and over. You're doing like, you're scrolling with your phone like over and over. It's like the same motion over and over and over. Oh, is it, he's a Ninja Turtle? Sunset. Nice, uh, nice theming and atmosphere there. I think Mario's in Miami or something. Mario. Ninja Turtle has the worst carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, let's see. Think about their like weapons. All right, so like, how bad would a sword be? Probably not. I feel like that wouldn't be too bad. Bow doing this, that probably wouldn't be too bad. Sai? Hmm. Nunchucks? I don't know. Or, like. I don't feel like any of those are gonna like really cause the carpal tunnels too bad. I think Splinter, out of all of them, if anybody had uh, would have carpal tunnel syndrome, would probably be Splinter because Splinter, um, you know, they the turtles go out on their missions and all that, but Splinter just uh, sits at home all day and doesn't doesn't go out on missions. He's just sitting in his chair all day, um, jacking off. With his rat cock, but the fact that you know he's sitting there, he probably has you know he's got like bad posture. He's old. He's just like sitting in the chair all day. So I would say Splinter, not necessarily one of the turtles. Uh, he probably has the worst carpal tunnel, in my opinion. Also, he's older, so you know, I'm, I'd be more concerned about him. Nobody, nobody worries about Splinter. I am, though. I am. Splinter has a real tiny rat dick. It's true. And that's also what causes some of the carpal tunnels. So it's, it's so hard. He's only got those like, little fingers trying to jack off his little rat dick. And, you know, it's, it's what causes it. And he's doing that. He's doing that every day. Turtles are out there, you know, saving the world, all that stuff. Sitting, in, sitting in the sewer, pounding his pud. And that's 
what Splinter does. Vernon doesn't get any action. Probably not. Splinter just watches TV all day and then he remembers what it was like to be human and love women. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> now, now I actually feel bad. Now I actually feel bad for Splinter. <laughs> he just watches TV all day long. <laughs> oh my god. You know, oh, I saw an episode uh, where of him watching TV, and you know they would do like parodies and things like that on Ninja Turtles. There is an episode where Splinter is sitting in the uh, the what are they, the turtle lair or whatever, and he's watching the TV. And he he would always do you remember this? He would always watch the Harry and the Hendersons TV show from 1991. He was like obsessed with it. Splinter, you know, Splinter was all in on Bigfoot. All, all in. But after a while, he'd get bored of that, and then he'd turn it off and jack off his little rat cock. Good old Splinter. You know, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's a good story, huh? That's my story for you today. You worry more about Casey Jones. Who knows what's going on with that man? He's a maniac. That's all. You didn't even know Splinter used to be a human. You don't know shit about TMNT. Well, you need to watch the first movie because it's a great movie. Um, at the very least. Well, there, so there's mutagen, okay? I'm, okay, so listen. There's different versions of the story is the thing. There's the comic version, there's like the movie version, and there's the cartoon version, and it's like... But basically, it's like <sighs> Krang is from another dimension, He uh, Shredder somehow meets Krang, and Krang creates this like mutagen or whatever, and in and some stories, it's like Baxter Stockman makes the mutagen, or it depends on what version of the story. Somebody, one of the villains, whatever, somebody comes up with this mutagen. It gets to be, it gets on the turtles. They grow into human turtles, and then Splinter. In, in one version, Splinter's a rat that turns into a human, and in another version, Splinter's a human that turns into a rat. They like change up the story depending on what version you're looking at. So, but it's pretty much something like that. That's all, that's all it is. It's like mutagen, it's like, you know, toxic stuff. It's, and then, what the hell, oh, pff, come on. Yeah, it's always something like that. It's like Spider-Man gets bit by a radioactive spider. You know, it's, like, it's always like radioactive shit or, you know, some shit like that. Mutagen. Toxic ooze. Ooze. Retro mutagen. Retro. There used to be that toy. It was a. Uh, and I think Masters of the Universe had a similar toy, but you take the action figure and you put it under a thing and then the bucket would come down and the ooze would come out. All that crap. A plastic piece of crap that they'd sell. <laughs> and then like whatever, like Kevin Eastman or whatever, he'd buy himself a new pool because he got to sell the fucking, fucking ooze bucket thing. Or some executive, whoever got the money for it. Splinter's dick is bigger than yours. His dick is only one inch, though. Joe. Josie. 
Doesn't rats have big balls? Do doesn't rats have... <laughs> doesn't rats have big balls? Um, gee. I don't know. You know, I gotta tell you, uh, it's not too often that I check out rat balls, but next time I'm at the pet store, I'll have to take a look for you. We'll have to verify that. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe we have a rat expert in the chat. Does anybody know, do rats have large testicles? Let us know. All right, I promise to watch the first TMNT movie. Henry's description makes me interested. You should you should at least see that. The very least. The, the first movie's good. Yeah, go on, go on Henry's advice, even though I told you already it was good. But if Henry says it, then, then of course. How do, you, how do you like that, Henry? The guy in chat here takes your, advi your advice over mine. So, Henry, I was giving you a hard time earlier, right? But there you go, you should feel a lot better about yourself now. Like, what did Mike say? Uh, he's full of shit. Oh, this other guy in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, rats do have oversized testicles. They do? Like, big testicles for, like, rat-sized testicles? Or, like, are they big, like, they're big, are they bigger than, like, human balls? There are they just like look big for a rat. The reason is due to sexual selection. Rat, female. I mean, I've seen rats. I've never fucking seen rats with balls bigger than my balls. <laughs> Imagine if there was though. There's a fucking rat going around his ball. He's like dragging his balls around. Rat females will mate with any. Rat females will mate with any male rat that wants it in a short period of time so the rat with the highest volume of sperm ends up fertilizing an egg. Therefore, over time, rats evolved oversized testicles. And yes, that was from memory. Yo, you just wrote that? You didn't even like look it up? From memory, wait a second. From memory, you you know about like the size of rat testicles from memory <laughs> oh my god um <laughs> i i can't i don't i don't know all right i don't know <sighs> Anyway, uh, so I'm playing United Mario Bros. 3 here today on Twitch. If you're watching this later on YouTube, I, uh, I do these streams live on Twitch. Okay? There was a lot of confusion there. What happens is I do the stream live and I actually talk to people live as I'm doing right now. Like, for example, uh, Deke is talking about if Splinter misses... Wait, what does he say? I keep, it keeps moving. If, does Splinter miss his giant balls? Oh, because when he turned into a human, then his balls probably shrunk. So, so Splinter would rather just be like a normal rat with huge balls. And Shredder did that to him. So no wonder Splinter hates Shredder so much. It's not necessarily only because he turned into a rat, it's because he made his fucking balls shrink. Oh, that's 
That's why the fucking turtles hate Shredder. You made our master's balls shrink! Shredder! Damn! Now it's all come together for me. All right, now I truly understand Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What a day it's been. Educational rat ball stream. Imagine being able to talk about the length of a rat's testicles at a moment's notice. The testicle length? You know, earlier I was like, I don't know if I feel like streaming today. Some day, I don't stream like every day. Some, day. some days I'm like, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll stream and then the next day, oh, and then the next day I'll do a stream or something. But I am so glad that I decided to stream today. Truly, because like, I wouldn't have learned the true meaning of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had I not decided to stream today. I mean, that's something I've been watching since I was a kid. And I always thought it was like, you know, like this epic struggle between, you know, these like teenage turtles and this alien, this evil alien from Dimension X and his rock warriors and like all that and the Shredder and the, you know, the foot soldier. I thought it was like all about that stuff and it has nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with that. It's amazing. You guys blew my mind today. Wait till you guys learn about turtle dicks. Better yet, duck dicks. They're very long and they're curly and uh, pink and they're like a corkscrew. If you guys don't know anything about duck dicks, be sure to educate yourself. These streams, uh, you know, are for a lot of purposes, but one of the purposes is for education. We're learning a lot about animals today. I can tell you another interesting fact about an animal. Um, do you know that um, a buffalo could take a diarrhea dump in my ear? It's true. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Just another interesting fact for you. <laughs> Very educational. God help me. Is the music backwards? Um, I feel like it might be in parts. All ducks have to convince their duck girlfriends it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> because the girl duck, she goes, Wee! and he's like, no, 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 it's okay. And she goes, Wee! so he convinces her, hey, you like the amount of money? Don't look at me. Yeah, this is video game sunset.
So this would be like World 7. In real Mario 3, where the whole world is made up of pipes. Oh, did they just start me over? Okay. Four. Uh, I'll go like that. I don't know. Now, now I have to remember all this crap. Um. games on Famicom the same as the NES games. Uh, can anybody in the chat answer that? I don't know. It's a good question. It's a very good question. Um, oh. Oh my god. Uh, how can I get over there? Oh my god. go through this thing, that thing's not going to stay, like, or will it? It's because if I go in here, is that coin thing going to stay? And if I can get on the right side. Alright, so let's say I can go in this. Let me jump up there. Oh, there. Okay. So if I could, like, get in that. be different is what I wanted to say. Oh, is this like no different? Oh, this makes like no difference. Oh, I thought that was the answer. Crap! 
So that's not even it. That is gonna be it. This, right? I haven't done this before. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, all right. I was, the whole time I was spending trying to get to the other thing. All right, that was like the first level that was like kind of challenging. There's a thief on a flying ship. The king's magic wand has been used against him. Please help. Pretty smart maze. Uh, there was an NES port of Mario Brothers on Genesis with 70% of the code intact. Mario Bros on Genesis with 70% of the code intact. Not sure why it wasn't continued, but it's very playable. So, wait, do you just mean, like, regular, like, Super Mario Bros, or, like, the arcade version of Mario Bros? You said Mario Bros, so that indicates the arcade version. So the arcade version of the game on, for Genesis? I mean, I've seen people do stuff like that, where they put, like, it's like, okay, here's Mario on Genesis, and here's Sonic on NES. Like, people do that kind of stuff all the time, so I don't know exactly what you're trying to say. Burnt Perp. Um, thank you very much for the sub and Spiteful Frog for the bits. Imagine a stinky plumber covered in shit just coming to your flying ship and wrecking everything. <laughs> oh, like their perspective? Okay, you're like Wendy Koopa and you're like, I got this nice flying ship and I'm going flying around and this cool ship we built and everything. And then this dirty, shitty plumber comes on and he's got like fucking hammers and he's like smashing everything. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? They probably feel that way. Did Bowser have a conversation with them? What if he didn't? Because if Bowser's like, listen, Maybe they, like, they don't know that Bowser's, like, a bad guy. So from their perspective, they just think Mario's just, like, this fucking maniac, like, shitty, smelly dude who comes on and he's, like, smashing shit. You have to, you have to take the leap in, like, logic that you're like, okay, well, Bowser told the Koopa kids, you know, that Mario's the enemy, like, there, there had to have been a discussion that took place. You just like, have to make the assumption. Otherwise, yeah, from the Koopa Kid's perspective, he's just a sh shitty plumber destroying their, like, home. It's a good point. Does Mario make me want to be a plumber? Um... The thing that makes me want to be a plumber is um, when they try to like fix your toilet or sink and their ass cracks come because they they always have to like lean down for something and then their ass cracks are coming out. I kind of want to be somebody whose ass crack is like always out like that. So that's more what makes me want to be a plumber. Not so much Mario. More the whole uh, exposed ass crack in. A stranger's kitchen. That's more what's appealing to me. <laughs> so stupid. Fuck. Like the part in the Mario Brothers Super Show where Wendy Koopa sings the entire Cindy Lauper song. Which which song? The Goonies are good enough. Time. Does she sing time after time? Or whatever. True Colors. Wendy Koopa sings the Pee Wee's Playhouse theme song. Girls just want to have fun. Makes sense. It's the entire song. Yeah, that's great. Isn't it Dracula? I think Dra I think Inspector Gadget's on an episode of um, because it's both it's Deke. 
And I also think Count Dracula was on an episode, too. I haven't watched it for a while. Do yeah, DOS stuff. No, I'll do Monster Bash, Commander Keen, Jill of the Jungle. Some platformers I should do on DOS. One day. We'll do some DOS someday. Let's forget about DOS. I'll do it. All right. Um, so uh, we're on World 5 now. I'm going to take a quick break, and then we will come back, and we will play some more United States of Mario 3, whatever this is. All right. Uh, I'll be back. I mean, now I remember the game enough. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Oh, fuck! Uh-oh. Give me the gun upgrade! Oh, it's a downgrade! same frog until I get, admit to myself that this is fucking stupid. This is where, this is when we kill a billion frogs and smash our fucking faces into the fucking wall. I beat that fucking first boss, right? So I don't, do, I don't have to beat him again, right? I think the bosses stay dead. So once again, that's a rogue, like, rogue light thing. Dude, fucking, don't you start with this shit! I don't even have to fucking go through this building because I just go this way, right? The fuck away from me! Thank you, I appreciate it. That's even worse than the downgrade. Oh, dying? Yeah, that is, because it sets me all the way back. You're right, that is worse than the downgrade. You like how it's only downgrades?
gun. But that doesn't exist, does it? is up with this? Where is the blue gun upgrades? Oh. I whipped you! Upgrades ever eat shit and die, Mike. I guess. Hey, eat shit and die. Hey, Mike. Huh? What? What? Eat shit and die. Oh. Mike will return, and he did return, and we re are returning to Super Mario Bros. 3 United States, United Mario. That's what we're doing here today, okay? Okay? Michelle Nichols. Uhura. Walter Koenig. DeForest Kelly. James Duhan. Ooh, that was close. I would say I can't believe you're playing this again, but I only be lying to myself. What, Mario? Well, I haven't played United Mario 3 before. This is my first time ever playing United Mario 3. We're getting to that point as the years go by where we're having more people come in and like I, I'll play an NES hack and they don't know the difference between an N like they can't look at that and, and realize that it's not actually that that's not Mario 3 they can't tell like seven years ago I would have been playing something like this and instantly people would have been like oh well this is a hack but now like People like as the years go on, I think people are getting less and less familiar with like NES games. So now they come in here and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's that Mario 3 game," and they don't know that that's not that, that this is a hack just by looking at it. That's where we're at now. Ha! 
How strange. I've never seen this level. It's like... <laughs> well, that's odd. I don't remember this one. Boy, I guess it's been a long time since I've... <laughs> since I've done this. Bum ba -da bum bum ba -da bum must be, must be DLC. Today you learned a lot of information about Al Lewis. Yeah, oh crap. Well you gotta watch, uh, see I used to have the whole uh, Am Vest uh, VHS series, which is a series of um, VHS tapes, and they would do uh, public domain VHS tapes and stuff like this. Hang on a second, see if I can get anything here. And, um, ooh, uh, Grandpa Al Lewis would, wow. Uh, Grandpa Al Lewis would be part of that, and he would do, like, uh, okay. Um, uh, Grandpa's Silly Scaries. Wow. Uh, what was it? Was it this one? Okay, star went up. Uh, was it this? He would do Grandpa's Silly Scaries. Gra Grandpa's... from the Munsters, his real name was Al Lewis, and later on, he would just go by Grandpa, so that it wasn't, like, part of the Munsters, it, he was just Grandpa, so he could, like, get away with it, he could get away with dressing up like a vampire, and still basically playing the Grandpa character, but doing other things. Yeah. I don't know if he was like officially part of Midnight Mutants for 7800 or not. Like, I don't really know the deal. wizard hat on, or if I was playing, you know, whatever, Final Fantasy, I'll have the wizard hat. Something like that. Mike, show us your butthole. Um, that will be a different website. Can't do that here. They have, uh, like, new uh, rules or whatever, don't they? But I think that's just related to art. Um, so if you're, like, artistic about it, because it'd be like, you know, you go into a museum or something and you see, like, somebody who's naked in a painting. Like, that's now okay, I think, on Twitch. It's, I think that that's what that really means. Um, as far as I've come to understand it. So, uh, one of these days, maybe I will draw you my butthole. 
we could probably do that. But I don't have my uh, arts and crafts out right now. Or maybe one day I will uh, get the oil paints out on a canvas and I will paint you uh, a picture of my spread asshole. We could do that, I think now. That would be good. I'll just, I'll, and maybe, we'll, I, maybe I'll sell it. Would anybody, would anybody here, if I painted a picture on stream of my spread asshole, would anybody buy it? I'm gonna spend a year on it. We're, it's gonna be a year's worth of streams. It's gonna be the best oil painted but spread asshole picture you've ever seen. It looks like we have an offer. Uh, wait, for real? Hang on a second. I do have a legitimate offer coming in right now for, holy shit. Uh, I'm being offered $950,000 by, who is this by? Oh, Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget wants the painting and he's gonna give me $950,000. Looks like I'm gonna do it. Where, uh, Inspector Gadget, uh, when I'm done with it, where are you gonna hang it? Let me know. I have multiple like chat windows open. One of my chat windows, uh, well, I have like th I have three chat windows. One is just the normal chat. One is a chat um, like we have like the mod chat, and then we have another chat, and it's just it's just for Elmo and Inspector Gadget and Ernie. They have their own chat, so I have like all these different chat windows open. So if you see me like looking all over the place. That's why I was shocked. He, he hasn't commented. Inspector Gadget, you haven't commented in my stream for like a long time. It's been years. Where you been, Inspector Gadget? Good to see you. By the way, thank you, uh, Inspector Gadget, for fucking me in the ass uh, last year. That was awesome. Let's do that again sometime if you're ever like available or around or something. Oh, that makes sense why he wants the painting. It all makes sense. How does one become a wizard, Mike? Well. Depends what kind of wizard you want to be. Do you want to be like Radagast? Then you got to hang out in the woods a lot. Just like Bigfoot, which you know I'm all in on, of course. I'm really not, that, that would be Dan Aykroyd. Oh yeah, that's true, Inspector Gadget is actually just still stranded in Minecraft, and he will remain there. Poor Inspector Gadget. Was a good companion on that journey. Wonder if we can get Inspector Gadget into Valheim. Let's see, I don't know where I'm going here. Ugh. Boom, 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 boom,
Can a wizard make your balls bigger than a rat's? Nope, they're gonna be the same size. Wizards can do a lot of things, but unfortunately they cannot increase your testicle size, I'm sorry. And I know this because I happen to be, I happen to be a wizard. Um, I'm not a very good wizard, but I, ha I have learned the general ropes of what can and not be, uh, can be accomplished and cannot be accomplished. Um, and I know that that's not a wizard ability, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. Ducking down and pulling his cap was the greatest thing ever back in the day. You listen to my streams. God knows what stream that was, but I know what you're referencing. How about that, everybody? There was somebody that actually listened to me one time. That's nice of you. Do, 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 do. The Enterprise Experiment Star Trek comic looks cool. You're trying to find it? Hang on a moment. to get a break that's like different hang on sorry give me like two seconds i'm just gonna grab this here okay so speaking of that so i have speaking of that the guy in the chat mentions the Enterprise Experiment comic. I had to grab this because here's the here's the Enterprise Experiment comic right there. Let's read it now on stream. It's by DC Fontana, who wrote a lot of the uh, original series episodes. There's that, and I also I wanted to mention to you. Then I got this book. This is all about. Uh, behind-the-scenes stuff that Gene Roddenberry had from Star Trek, the original series. I've been going through that, too. Pretty cool. Keep hitting the wrong thing. Star Trek stuff. been doing is like if I think about an episode or okay so the the book is like it's divided into like every episode and this is just about season one so if I'm like I want to like if there's like an episode like I care about or I think about an episode I'm like oh I can read some more about that so like let's say All right, where no man has gone before, like right now, I don't really, then we'll have like 10 pages on that or something like that. Charlie X, I like Charlie X, like I would read that, like the whole, like there's a whole thing on Charlie X. So it'll have like, just behind the scenes information, like things that might've got deleted, things that happened on the set while it was going on. And this is all like taken from like, producers and writers and Gene Roddenberry and everything. So it's all like real information. This guy went, this guy knew Gene Roddenberry and got access to all this stuff and um, was able to put together like, it's almost like a, it's just like everything you'd ever want to know about like behind the scenes for the episodes. It's cool. 
I read I read like a couple of them for a few different episodes, but I haven't like read the whole thing or anything. And they have one on each season. I only have the first book, but I, I'm gonna get the other books. Charlie X was the first episode you saw with Yeoman Rand, who you had a crush on. Janice. Star Trek pocket books, so those are good. Yeah, uh, I was reading uh, some of the Star Trek The Next Generation comics from the 90s, and I didn't really like the first um, comic of it, but like a little bit like later into it, I was like, I've been reading a bunch of them, and there's some that are like really, really good. Well, I guess like anything, like some are better than others, but some of the issues of that are like really good, surprisingly good. Because I was always like, that's one thing I never really like looked much at, is like the, the Star Trek comics. I never got into that or anything. I, I mean, I had read a couple when I was a teenager, but not like, not much. So I've been like trying to check them out more now, because they were made back then. And the thing about it is a lot of the writers that worked on the show, a lot of times are, would be like involved in, in the comics. So I'm like, all right, well, you have the same people and not all instances, but in some instances that wrote the show writing, you know, like DC Fontana or whoever, you know, writing comics and it's like, they're better than you'd think they are. Not all, but like I said, not all the time. Sometimes they're not good. But sometimes the show is also not good. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? like to be a butt wizard how do you know you aren't already a butt wizard you might be in fact I'm pretty sure you are in fact I know for a fact you are do you remember two weeks ago in my car I would say you were a butt wizard that night <laughs> What is the definition of a butt wizard? What happens if you are a butt wizard? Do I want to know the answer to that? Maybe I don't want to know the answer to that. So like wizards do magic, right? So does that mean like you can pull a rabbit out of your ass? If you, if you haven't pulled a rabbit out of your ass, then maybe you're not a butt wizard. Crap. A butt wizard can make many things disappear. That's the comment I was reading while, that's the important comment I was reading while I just died. A butt wizard can make things disappear. How so though? How would the butt wizard make something disappear? Like, and what would be an example of, like, what would he make disappear? Is there a TV show or movie you saw growing up that's hard to watch now? Uh, probably. Um, Something I liked then that I don't really like anymore. Um, there's, um, let's say, there's probably a very good answer to that. Uh, I'm trying to think, like stuff I used to like watch that I like wouldn't like really watch anymore. I can't think of a good answer. 
answer for it. I feel like there's probably like a lot of cartoons um, that I would have watched when I was a kid that I, I wouldn't sit through anymore. Maybe. A lot of those um, cartoons could be like very like repetitive in the in their plots and whatnot. So. Like, probably some of those, like, 80s cartoons. Like, you're gonna get a YouTube comment about the boom boom fight you just died on. Wasn't that, I was reading about the fucking butt wizard or something, though, right? Oh, wait, what, yeah, there was something about the boom boom fights. It was... That if you use the fireballs, you didn't really kill Boom Boom because it's too easy with the fireballs. Wasn't that the guy's complaint? So if I like kill him with the fireballs, like to that to this one guy on YouTube, it didn't like count or whatever the fuck. Which is totally, I think it's totally valid. They give you fireballs. It's a fucking power up in the game. If you want to use the fucking fireballs, use the fucking fireballs. Like. But now to appease like this one guy, now I just like always fight Boom Boom by jumping on him instead of using fireballs. Because he's like, you didn't really fight Boom Boom. You did it the cheap way. It's one of those. the boom boom fight is that hard usually it's like it's like the easiest thing anyway it's like who the fuck even cares <laughs> I can understand if it was like a really difficult thing you know and they're like ah you're doing that like the cheap way but it's like boom boom isn't even I like do this there we go like boom boom isn't difficult anyway so it's like what does it matter? Like, I, I understand more, like, when I'm playing, like, like, I, well, not completely, but, like, I understand more when I'm playing, like, Dark Souls and I'm, like, fighting a boss. And then if you find some, like, way to cheese a boss, it's like, okay, I, I can understand why somebody's upset that you're, like, you're not doing it the intended way. I, I get that to an extent. But at the same time, the game shouldn't be programmed in a way that you can cheese it. If you can cheese it, it's like, well, they, they shouldn't have fucking programmed it in a way where you can fucking cheese it. That's the game's fucking fault, in my opinion. But, but I get it. It's like, you know, do, do it without cheesing it or whatever. But when it comes down to the boom boom fight, it's like, it's the fucking easiest thing in the world. So it's like, who gives a fucking shit? But there'd be like, I'll get these couple comments, like here and there, and be like, um, you didn't do the boom boom fight the way that I think you should have done the boom boom fight. And I'm like, yeah, but you you have a fucking small penis. And the guy's like, that's true, but you still didn't do the boom boom fight the way that I wanted you to. And I'm like, I don't really fucking care what you want. But I tell you what, I'll fight boom boom the way you want me to fight him. And then, and then you know how the fight goes? The fight goes like this. And then Boom Boom's dead, and the guy goes, huh, yeah, that's what I wanted. It's like, all right, this is great. I'm glad that I did that for you. I'm glad you're happy now. And then I played another Mario hack another day, and I'm fighting Boom Boom again, and the guy comes back. Or, or it's a different guy. It's not even the same guy. Now we have a different guy, and he and he also feels the same way. There's like, there's like another guy, and he's like, uh, hey Mike, that boom boom. I don't like the way you're fighting that boom boom. There's like this fucking group. 
There's like this group of like boom boom critics. Boom. There's fucking Mario 3 boom boom critics. And I'm like, what? Why do I do this? Why do you gotta make fun of small weenies? No, there's a, there was a guy earlier in the stream that told me I had small balls, and, he had, and there was another guy that said he had a tiny dick or whatever. I'm not, I am not making fun of it. I'm just trying to help you identify who the person is. So I'm saying, you know that guy that has the small dick? That's the guy I'm talking about. I'm just saying that that's the guy I'm talking about. I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just saying that the fucking dude has a small dick and balls. The guy that comes in my chat and tells me that he, he, he wants me to play the game the way he wants me to play the game. I'm just saying, so you know who the person is, it's the guy that comes in my chat that has the small dick and balls. That's all. It's fine. It's totally fine. Bro, I never knew his name is actually Boom Boom. I always knew him as Koopa. Bitch mid boss. Koopa bitch. I mean, you could call him Koopa bitch. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, if you want to call him Koopa bitch, you call him whatever you want. I mean, technically, his name is Boom Boom. But go ahead and call him bitch. I think I think calling him bitch is a totally legitimate, totally legitimate thing to call Boom Boom. Stupid mid boss bitch. I get it. I agree with you. Uh, seriously. Back in Nintendo Power, back in the day when they were like showing the different characters, they're like, okay, this is Cheap Cheap, and this is the Goomba, and this is the mid-boss bitch. Like, it should have been like that, don't you think? Now I gotta follow this. I've seen another hack that, that does something like this, where you follow the fucking thing. Follow the brown brick. Are you following the brown brick? I don't know if you followed the brown brick. I like following brown bricks in United Mario 3. Following brown bricks in United Mario 3 is the most amount of fun you can possibly have while playing a game. Hashtag brown bricks. You just came in here and you have a small dick and balls. Is it about you? It might be. Were you the guy who mentioned, you're the one who mentioned about Boom Boom? Probably is you then. This game is beep great in my opinion. Beep beep beep. This game is beep great in my opinion. Beep. Okay, with Justin, like Justin Bieber. This game is Beeb Great. That's fine. Let's make up words. That's fine. I like that, too. I mean, all this shit's made up anyway, right? People make up words all the time. Just make up. Let's just start making shit up. Doesn't matter. What the hell does it matter? Number one Boom Boom fan here. You are killing him the proper way, right? What do you think is the proper way to kill Boom Boom? I hate this. Okay, okay, Rusty. Rusty trombone. Hey, if we're making up words, can we make up a better word than shmup? I'll take anything else. I agree. I also don't like that word at all. 
but I didn't come up with the word, and I use it because people know what it means. But I agree, I also do not like that word either. How polite he is. Chode. There's Phantos. You're not fighting Phantos properly. We used to call them shooters. Uh, I mean, I think that that's a better term. That's what I used to call them too. Tell you what, I will call Shmups, shooters again. Until I got a guy in my chat that is like getting confused over it and thinking that I'm talking about first person shooters. That's what stops me from that, because I've had that happen. Sure. Okay, we'll call them shooters again. Just like the 80s and 90s. Sounds good to me. Can we start calling beat em ups? Be bumps. No. Bumps. Sounds like Bobby Bumps. You guys know Bobby Bumps? It's a silent cartoon character. Check out uh, Cartoons on Film Blu-ray if you'd like to see more Bobby Bumps on Blu-ray. And call fighting games cock kickers. Kick you in the dick. Shmupula? Did you say just say Shmupula? Oh my god. Bobby Bumps. This is gonna be a short stream. You're ripping through this game. I mean, there's only. Ooh. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Or what is it like? Frosty the Snowman. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know the words to it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. I'll, I'll have a, a blue Christmas. Alright, that's it. It's a nice looking level. This is a birthday cake. Oh, it's Mario's birthday cake! I hate when they make cartoon characters, like, have, like, big stories about their birthday. It's like Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. And there's like an early like Mickey Mouse cartoon. Well, not early. Like a, there's like a color Mickey Mouse cartoon. Once Mickey went to shit, and it's like all about Mickey. Mickey's happy birthday. That's when they ran out of. If you're making the, if you're making a thing about a cartoon character and it's about the character's birthday, you ran out of ideas. So stop. But the, then that character needs to die. The character should die then on his birthday. Because you ran out of ideas for the character. I got an idea for this cartoon. How about it's his, how about it's Tweety Bird's birthday? How about it's Tweety Bird's birthday? 
Okay, and then you do a cartoon about Tweety Bird's birthday. Fine. And then what happens next? And that are you like, okay, we gotta we gotta now make a uh, Goofy cartoon. What's gonna what's this gonna be about? Uh, how about Goofy's birthday? And then antics ensue. And, and by the end of it, everybody's got cake all over the place. Like, go fuck yourself. So far, this is a really easy hack. It really is. I'm a little disappointed. I had I had heard high praise of this, and like, listen, I don't. I'm not looking for Kaizo, and I don't. I definitely don't mind like a steady like difficulty curve increase. Fine. Like, I like the idea of having a game just like the original Mario 3, where it's kind of like gets more difficult as it goes. But... They could ramp it up like a little bit more. And I've been trying to like reserve my judgment on this, but I'm in World 6 now, and I'm like, it still feels like World 1. It doesn't feel like World 6, it feels like World 1. Tarzan has no idea when his birthday is. You didn't know that before, but now you do. Ugh. All right. Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. Oh God, is the same. Is about the time his asshole got blown. When the Yosemite Sam showed. His dick up his ass. <laughs> oh, birthday candle up his ass. Yeah. Um, Yosemite Sam blew out Bugs Bunny's asshole. You fucked him in the ass so hard his asshole fucking fell out. <laughs> That's a fucking. There's your fucking birthday cartoon. I'll watch that one. Don't put it in that hole, Doc. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Was that proper enough? I don't know if that was proper enough. Probably wasn't. What's better, Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie? I don't care. Mario 3 or this hack? <laughs> Should we do a poll? I don't think we even need to.
They're the same thing. jumping around, whatever. It is. You're right. It's the same shit. Doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? Who cares? It's only a retro gaming channel on Twitch where you would assume people would care about retro video games. You would assume, but it's not actually the truth. They seem to care much more about porn. Much more. I'll vote for the real one, but I don't hate this. I don't either, it's, it's fine. I told you I'm an asshole. Look at all the dancing jelly beans! Look at him go. Hey Mike, will you talk more about playing? Will you talk more about the game you're playing? I'm just, I just, the last thing I fucking said was I talked about the jelly beans that were on the fucking screen. a green hill. You know what you can do on the green hill? You already know this, but I'll tell you anyway. You can slide down it. Woo! Isn't that fun? You've already seen that before, 30 years ago. But there it is again. Now this right here, this is a flat green hill. It's just like, it, this is just like a normal flat piece of grass here. Coming up next, we have two wooden blocks that are on top of each other. They're stacked up vertically. I'll be jumping on top of those now. Coming up after that, we have a little spinny wheel thing. Now, when I jump on that, it's gonna start moving. So I'm gonna have to be quick, watch out. Uh-oh, it's balancing from side to side. Now, what do we have here? We have little, uh, deadly little plant things. They're going munch, 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 just like uh, Pac-Man, so I better watch out for those. Uh-oh, I jumped over, and wow, it's a Paragoomba. Better watch out for him, too. Woo, boy, there's so much going on. Uh, get the sub to B4YM4. Thank you very much. Can't say either one of those things, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do, do, do.
Well, I finally did Street Fighter 2010, right? People wanted me to do that one for a long time. Finally got to it. What else do you guys want me to do as far as real NES games go that I haven't done yet? What do you want what do you want to say? Ba 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 Shadowgate? Dude, I did Shadowgate. You No, I said that I haven't done. You got if no. You need to look then if you're not sure whether or not I did Shadowgate. I already did Shadowgate. I like Shadowgate a lot, but it's I did it already. It's been done. This would be a good time. So uh, here we go. I have a blog that I keep a list of games that I have defeated already. And you can check that out to see what I've done and what I haven't done. That way you'll know, to be fair. If your whole life isn't devoted to keeping track of what I do on stream, we keep track for you. But it should be, it should be, it should be devoted to that. I don't see why it isn't. Bioforce Ape. Uh, the... Uh, it was like a canceled game. Um, I had done a video on that before. And played it some. Uh, but a, like a stream of it? Like maybe? Or was like that was like a prototype game that they didn't finish or whatever? Can I play one stage impersonating as Bubba Duck or the Cowardly Lion? Mm, what do I get from you if I do that? in your house dedicated to lists of games that I've completed. Good. That's the way it should be. That's what I that's what I expect out of you guys. Shit. What the hell is this? F099 ice courses. No, it's been a little while. I, I do. I should come back to F099. Uh, like they were gonna like eventually add. I heard like Game Boy Advance tracks and like all kinds of stuff. I kind of just been waiting on it because like the longer I wait, the more stuff they're gonna have. That's like how I felt about Mario Kart 8 too. It was just like, all right, they're just gonna keep releasing stuff like every couple months. I'll just like wait like a really long time because until it's just like all out. 
Because then I gotta like keep coming back to this stuff. And I don't wanna like, keep coming back. Can I just like play it all and just be done? So I can move on with my fucking life? They, just, they want... Because they, they, they do that because that's that online service shit. So instead of just getting the whole fucking game, because they, they want you paying monthly. They want that monthly fucking charge. So it's like, yeah, those are good, those are cool games. And those are cool tracks and like Mario Kart and shit. But it's such like a fucking, like a greedy fucking thing. It, you know? And I, I have it. Like I fucking I, 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 I sign up for it or whatever. I have the Nintendo online shit. Like I'm I am paying for it already. So they 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 got me. But like it's just like can, just fucking release it. I hate that I hate this shit. Where I also like the the NES games and the Super Nintendo games and all that. How they release like two games like a month or whatever it is. Just fucking put them all out. Fucking hate that shit. And, like monthly release shit. I mean, everything's like that now. It's like the fucking Disney Plus or whatever the fuck. It's like they, they want that they want that monthly it's like it's like your fucking electric bill or something now. It's like okay I got my electric bill Got my sewer bill, or whatever. Got my water bill, and my utilities. Oh, and I got my Nintendo bill, or my PlayStation bill, or whatever. Every month, or whatever the fuck it is. That's what it is, it's a fucking, it's a utility now. It's the same as like you're fucking getting your water out of your fucking shower. what they wanted they were like you know what we want to be like the electric company they're like they're like fuck making a game fuck making a game and selling it once no 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 that's not what we're doing and then everybody they all decided to do that fuck it they fucking cancel this shit I should fucking do. I should fucking cancel Nintendo Online and PlayStation Online, all this shit. I don't believe in it. Dude, I liked going to the fucking store and buying the fucking game. And then you just have it, and that's it. That's the whole fucking experience. It's on the fucking cartridge. That's it. You can't, you can't even add anything to it. It's not even possible. You get the cartridge, put it in. That's it. Done. Or you want to watch a fucking movie? Go to the fucking video store. Get the fucking thing. Put it in the VCR. Hit play. Take it back. I like that shit better. Fucking monthly fee. Fuck you. The thing is, if you're and if you're gonna pay a monthly bill, like think, like certain listen, certain things are important and certain things are not important. Let's talk about what's important. Like you get your like Mickey Mouse cartoons or whatever on Disney Plus or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Gotta have your like Nintendo Online, nah, or my, the plate, whatever, the Sony one or whatever, no. Nah. But okay, water. You got. I need water. I need my water to work. Okay, I'll pay my water bill. Makes sense. There's certain monthly things that make sense. Water bill makes perfect sense. Mike Mate Live makes perfect sense. You gotta have that, especially, you know, if you're a man baby. You gotta, you gotta. There's certain things that are important and certain things that are not important. Pirate Dog X, thank you very much uh, for the sub. 
You've got to have priorities in life. I mean, where else can you play a Mario hack and talk about tiny rat dicks? And extra large rat balls. Nintendo's not telling you about large rat testicles? Are they? Fuck. Where, where is the last Nintendo thing that they did where they were talking about huge rat balls? Where is it? Show it to me. Yeah, I didn't think so. a little bit hard. That was like the first one in a while. You gonna shit your baby boom booms? Yay, we had one stage that was like a little bit challenging. Brown in my chat says his dick is so small it makes it that his balls look massive. See? This is a guy that knows how to be positive. He has a small dick, but he has big balls. That's great. Mike, it's been a while. Can you say my name again? No. Mike Matei Live should be included with Disney Plus. fucking cartoons on there. Dude, so year, years ago, they, like, released the Disney treasure sets, which is, like, what built the company, those cartoons, right? They have a couple, like, old shorts on there, but they don't have, they don't have them all on there. There's, like, tons that are missing. And you'll be like, oh, well, some of them are, like, inappropriate and they can't show them or whatever the, whatever the hell. But, like, yeah, but there's lots of cartoons that are totally fine that aren't on there. So, like, what's that all about? They just don't put them on there. They definitely own the rights to all those. That's their cartoons. So why aren't they all on there? There should be, like, a page that has them all. And whatever. There's a couple cartoons that they don't want to, like, show. Fine, whatever. But why, why aren't most of them on there? They have, like, you know, 500 cartoons or something. They got, like, 20 of them on there. Like, the, you'd think that that'd be, like, the first thing that they'd have. Nope. It's because they don't give a shit. Or not even that they don't give a shit, they just don't even know about it because they, they don't care about like Mickey and Donald and all that kind of stuff, the stuff that like made the company. They're like, oh, they'll, but they'll act like they do, but they actually don't, they actually know nothing about the history because a lot of people that run the company or work at the company are actually all superhero and Marvel fans. They like like Superman and Batman and all that kind of stuff and they don't, they didn't grow up with the Disney material. So that's why they bought Marvel, because they had a huge fucking hard on for like superhero stuff. Cause they're superhero guys running Disney. They don't under they don't even understand what their fucking company is. And that is true. Some of some of the people do, but you know, a lot of them don't. Disney Plus, oh, fuck off! You don't even have the fucking cartoons on there. Give me a fucking break. There's loads of Disney shorts on there. 
There, there's some. I, I, did you listen to what I said? I said that there's some on there. But there's a fucking ton that's not. I didn't say they had none. There's some. But where's the rest of them? Oh, fuck me. Oh, 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 crap. Just like Nintendo and the fucking Nintendo games. They got, they, like, where are the rest of the fucking games? And they'd be like, well, there's a bunch of them on there. Yeah, there is a bunch of them on there, but where's the fucking rest of them? I want them all. You want me to pay a fucking monthly service? I'm gonna have to fucking take out this level to get through this. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> SD card. I don't think it's gonna fit on a CD. That's why you get an SD card. These billion dollar companies can't afford to pay server costs to host the movies. Oh yeah, but they're gonna charge you however much a month. But yeah, they can't they can't put the movies on there, okay. Then why, then why did you buy, like, why do I have it in the first place if the movies are on? <laughs> like, come on. Also, and it's like Disney Plus, right? So, like, you would think they have, like, all the classic material with, like, Walt and stuff. So they used to have a show, it was like, uh, Wonderful World of Color and Walt Disney Presents and like all those shows and from like the 50s and 60s and shit with, that is actually has Walt Disney in it, like hosting it and all that. They don't have that. They have like, they have like two episodes of that or something. And then somebody will look and they'll be like, it's actually five episodes or whatever. Yeah, but the fucking show had like hundreds and hundreds of episodes for like 20 years, you know? They don't have that shit. And yes, it's true. They have a couple episodes. Fuck. It's fucker. You have every cartridge for every game at every console on a stick. Super Duper CD. Oh yeah, if you use the Super Duper CD, then they'll all fit on there. That's, uh, that'll work. How come I can't put every game ever on this CD-ROM here I got from 1998? You tell me it don't fit on there? So you can only fit one PlayStation game on that disc. I can only fit one game on there? I thought I could put all games on there. No, if you want something that has all the games, you can go on Amazon and you can buy one of those like shitty fucking systems that has like a hundred million thousand games on it. Hundred million thousand. You can get one of those. And if you want to figure out which one 
of those shitty like hundred thousand game systems is the, is the best one to get. Well, you can go onto all these wonderful YouTube channels where that's all they do is talk about that. Hey guys, my name's Fuckface Brody. Do you like my Nintendo Switch anime collection behind me? Well, today I'm here to tell you about this thing I order on Amazon that anybody could order. Like literally anybody could do the same thing. Uh, and I'm gonna plug it in and like go through the menus and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit and click the bell, guys. Content. It's great. Is this Rainbow Road? It is the road, it is the Rainbow Road. I'm, I'm gonna start doing that. What do you guys think? I'm gonna start doing Amazon. I'm just gonna order random shit off of Amazon. I'm gonna be one of those guys. So I got this here flashlight off of Amazon.com and I'm gonna try it out. Let's see how it goes. So I did about 12 rounds of masturbation with this here flashlight, and let me tell you, boy, it ran, it like, it totally fucked up. By the third time I used it, it was torn apart. Total piece of crap. I recommend this other flashlight over here. Lasted me a month. Poor guy that made this hack. Oh, here, let me, sorry. Isn't this a cute stage with all the rainbows? Boy, and it, it's not only like a rainbow land, it's also ha like the fourth world in Super Mario 3, where all the characters are giant characters. Isn't that fun? I like the giant world, and I also like rainbows. Someday you'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. La, da, 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 da. I'll be singing uh, the cats songs next. Midnight while the kitties are sleeping, all alone in their litter boxes. La, da, 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 da. Very sorry. Hey, look, it's Chode. <laughs> you would unironically watch my fleshlight reviews? Hey. I got a new business coming along real soon. Check it out. Well, yeah, I'll get a hundred million thousand views on that. It's gonna be great. You, you mean, uh, are you gonna get a hundred million thousand views on those flashlight reviews? Well, shit, I gotta get in on that business too. That's not where the real money's at, guys. Let me tell you where the real money's at. It's not in flashlight reviews. It's in tailspin videos. That's where the, that's where the real quality content is. Shit. Do 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 do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wrong, right? 
What do I do? Just make it to the end of this, or? This one yet? I don't even remember. Um, damn it. Did I try going back in this? Oh, takes me there, huh? Oh, ooh. what if I fall here? Hey.
it's like... up here it was just that it's like one door that was it okay um do that i can't make those like fall all right this pipe. trying to open a luggage lock by trying every possible combination absolute shit game design <laughs> are you happy this game is a pain in the ass now here's what's gonna happen I just don't care should have done this before That was the worst design stage ever. Turn the fucking game off. No, I'm gonna. Fi I'm like so far along. Let's just finish it. You hate it that much? My chat hates it. This hack is starting to give you mild diarrhea. Mild diarrhea. Well, it's a good thing it's not extreme diarrhea. That would be unfortunate. 
unfortunate. And that was it. These clouds look like turds. You love using the cloud, then dying, and then getting sent to the pre-cloud area. Me too. It's so good. It's so good. Understand. That means I grew up with a show, a cartoon where a lion and a bee fucked. What were they trying to, like, what was the goal of the Wuzzles? I don't understand. What was the goal? You show this game some goddamn respect, you son of a bitch. I am, I'm playing it. What do you want me to do? You want me to suck the game's cock? You want me to suck its dirty cock? You want me to suck Mario's filthy fucking cock off? What do you want from me? Mario's a filthy fuck. So like, oh, come on. The fuck place do you want me to go? It's always some shit. Do 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 do. Do 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 do.
man. send me a Turtles in Time cart. You want people to mail you free shit? What is, what are you gonna do for them? Let's say I sent you the Turtles in Time cart. What do you do for me? Also, why do you need that? Go on eBay. Or, like, I think Turtles in Time, isn't it part of that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection on the Switch? That they came out. No, you need the original cartridge. I need the original cartridge. It's not the same. Hey, Mike. I think it's important for you to know. Okay. I've caught three streams in a row since you removed watch streaks. I need a break. I'm gonna take a break for a moment. We'll be we'll we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> Can you play Darkwing Duck, please? Now, the Turbo Graphics 16 one, or the NES game, or the what is it? The Dendy Duck that has Darkwing Duck on it. Which one are you talking about? You want to see retro games? This is a fucking retro game. It's fucking Contra. What more do you fucking want? It's fucking Contra. <laughs> All right, this is gonna go badly, I have a feeling. Fuck you, suck a dick! Did you see that? The guy came from the fucking left of the screen. All right, this is gonna go badly, I have a feeling. Fuck you, suck a dick! At 100,000 miles per hour is a fucking snowman! Come at me like a fucking maniac! And you can't kill that thing in time. Like that, oh, that dude sucking dick, motherfucker. No! That is some shit. D uh, d uh. Frosty the Snowman comes out at 45,000 miles per hour. Like, fuck you. What do you want me to fucking do? Sincerely, what the fuck? I don't even know how I did that part. My allies. 
And I'm not so fucking surprised to be analyzed. This is, oh, okay, by the way, this is harder. I didn't know if it was hard. It's hard. Fuck you! Ah! This is loop two, by the way. Now hang on, because Frosty the Snowman's gonna come from the left. This is totally unfair. You can't have Frosty the Snowman come from the left side of the screen at 100,000 miles per hour. Like, what am I gonna do about that? Like that! How, how, how can I anticipate that? It's because of this fucking guy on the bottom of the screen. Dude, I need to at least kill- Fuck! Ah! No! It's because fucking Frosty the Snowman comes from the fucking left. Dude, suck my dick. Go like that. Walk through it. Fuck! Ah! Fuck. Come on, I ducked. Fucking suck my balls. Oof. I don't even know how I lived through that! Barely did. You can do like that or something. You can't even do that. Oh, fucking balls! Oh uh, yeah, right! Okay, now. Oh yeah, this is where it goes below. Oh, this is the boss, I guess. Right? Let's see. Let's see. What the hell? Oh yeah, I forgot about this asshole. Oh great, I got like no health left. Miyamoto again. All right, let's see. Let's see if I learned any like lessons from the last time. Always spacemen. Always spacemen. Stand. Yo! I don't know how you could do that and not die. Yeah, that's 40,000 Ryu Habusas. Coming at me, Hayabusa, Habusas, <laughs> Ryu, <laughs> Ryu Habusa. <laughs> Whatever, fuck it. Who fucking cares? United Mario Brothers 3 for the NES. This is a hack. It's not the original Mario 3. We're on World 7, and we're going to continue on. It's the Rainbow Road. Let's go. Isn't this fun? Mike, I would like you to be 
the Game Gear version of Batman Returns. I played it after Master System version, and it is different enough from it. Okay, maybe someday I will do that. I'll do some Game Gear stuff. I'm not opposed to that idea. It's a green thwomp. Ooh. Is he sick? Poor thwomp is sick. Aw. Da! I had to go under the down, down under. Let's try that again. scrolling what is the person's name what was the first game that have auto scrolling there you go y'all think you're video game experts Answer me about the size of a rat's testicles, but can you answer that? Mm -hmm. 
Nope. Only rat testicles, Mike. Only rat testicles. Whoa. Moon Patrol? Sounds legit. Mike has said in the past that if he became president, he would make it law that delis have to sell CRTs. Um, there, there was a couple more. I do remember that, and there was a few more elements to that, though. Um, it was a, for, that would be my first order of business, because you know you can go and get yourself a nice sub sandwich with some like good quality deli meat and deli cheese, and pick yourself up a CRT. I mean, what? Why does that not already exist? That's that's something I would do. That would that would be something I would do. That would be on the that would be on the agenda for sure. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Auto scrolling. Oh, it's 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 Birdo Yo Yoshi Bird Birdo uh, Yosho Yosho Yo Yosho Yosho. What's your favorite part of Birdo? Is it the is 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 it his fuck hole? <laughs> is that why Birdo became so popular? Cause you can imagine base fucking his fucking base. I don't know. You tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, oh, ah! Uh oh. Do 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 bump bump. Can I jump through this thing? I don't know. Oh my god. I guess I'm about to find out. Dude! Dude, it fucking like sped up! Eat my cock! Okay. Ass fucker. zips and gets all fucking fast and shit. Like, suck my dick. What the fuck? Hast thou subbeth to Mike Mate live today? God. I, I can't see. Come on. Hurry the fuck up! Wonderful. Oh, good. Oh, look, it's fat bastard. He grew a mohawk. So, hey, they redesigned the, uh, Koopa Kids. I wish the Boom Booms did a little more. Could you have made... They should have made the Boom Booms, like, throw hammers or something. Chopper command. Two CRTs in every room. Kept in. I guess last world. Let's go. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. 
At least I can see the last world. Here's looking at you, Rainbow Realms 2. Are they gonna make Rainbow Realms 3? Why don't you make the, uh, the whole thing so you can't see it in Rainbow Realms 3? Just go to, go to fucking town on it. Whole game. Make it a fucking invisible. Six lives, that's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Could be trouble. Is this a submarine? Um, oh crap. What have I done? Do 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 do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, oh my god. that has some like coins or something like oh boy I need one of these stages with like a million coins so I can like farm lives or something
bribe. No, I can't do that. Oh boy. That. Oh shit, well. He doesn't come back? Come on. He should come back. Come, oh! Dude, that's crap. Why doesn't he come back? That's fucking cheap as shit. Fuck this shit. <sighs> she just fucking ran for it in the first place. Oh my god. Flying fucking fish! Oh shit! Give that to me! One more. 
want more of those. I need that so bad. I need that so bad. I need it so bad.
Oh, all right. something I don't fucking know I never get to have hammer brothers maybe I should keep hammer brothers I'm gonna keep hammer brothers I can kill all this shit I guess I don't know man
lives. <laughs> Two more. Uh, and I have one fucking healing. If I had a couple, like, items. Oh, man! He should have tried to smash the fort. He's gonna game over. What, with the, oh, like to use the hammer? I, I don't know. Do more easy levels and get more super card. Oh, star card, like go back, maybe. Uh, let me try this once though, that's not a bad idea. Oh shit. Easy levels, like not necessarily easy, but yeah. I mean, true. Easier than this crap. If they even let me go back. They decided to make this a game, finally, by, like, World 8. You really have to wait a long time to get the game to be. Oh, wow. That was bullet hell. Alright. We have one more left. I'm just gonna try this last level, and if I need to go back, I'll do that, I guess. Or should I go back now? I'll just try it. I'll just try it. Is the submarine from Star Fox 64? Yeah, that's what it was. Now this game finally grabbed you by the balls. Yeah, I mean, it gets better later. All right. <clears throat>
On, in Mario 3, if you have that, you can you use that against Bowser? Can you do that against Bowser in Mario 3? You, like, use fireballs? Or does it have to be? No, because he has to go down the the bricks, right? You can't do that to him. I don't think, right? Doesn't he have to go down the bricks? So, I'd be better off with the, um, with what I have, I think, because then I could, like, fly around better. Fire does work. Hammer bro suit, you can kill him, but I don't know on fire. They don't know on fire. Keep raccoon for protection from the difficult jumps. You can't use weapons against Mario 3 Bowser. I don't think, I don't know that you can or not, so I'm going to keep what I have. I mean, like, oh, come on, don't do this crap. Let's try left. We know it's the left. It's the left door. All right. I, I, I got this, I think. Now that I know the level, too. I just get there with the... Uh, That 
other one, I bet you. I bet you the right door takes you back to the beginning. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? That's what that does. Now let's see. What do I get? A special surprise? You collected many coins. See, I told you at the beginning, right? Mario's all about money. security system. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Mario is your security system. Special thanks to the Super Mario Brothers 3 community. All right. Um, so this hack did, I think, end up being I've seen his name before on Googie or whatever on other hacks. That's interesting. All these hack people, I, I like that they're teaming up and whatever. Um, it's nice to see that kind of thing. But um, so yeah, that was a that was pretty good hack. The only f feeling I have is like the like when I was like on like level like four, five, and six, I felt like those could have used a little bit more challenge. And I do, obviously, I think they should be easier than later level. It really wasn't until level, like, se like world seven and then world eight. Like, world eight was like, okay, now I'm playing, like, Mario 3. But, like... And I also, to be clear, because I also, I complain when it's the shit's like Kaizo. I don't want anything to be Kaizo. I feel like if they would just amp up the difficulty a little bit on on some of the stages in world like five and six, I just felt like those, I was just breezing through them. And also some of the stages like early, a lot of the stages early on were just like really like short. I would, like, some of those, like, early stages on, like, World 1, 2, 3, I would, like, lengthen them a little bit. Um, but, like, it was, it was pretty good. But I, like, the last world was, like, fun. That was, that was a good, like, last world. There was no stupid shit. Um, and to be fair, there were some stages I didn't see. Uh, maybe it'd be, if you did, like, every single stage, um, there'd be some more difficulty. Um, but, like, there's multiple, like, routes you can go and stuff, so I was, like, passing some stages, so there was more stages that we didn't see. So, overall, I would say that this was a pretty good one. Um, like, I mean, I just listed the things I think could be, like, improved, but, I mean, it, ha it had, um, uh, I think the boom booms, maybe not in, like, the first world or anything, but I think, like, as you go, it'd be nice if the boom booms maybe... Like, by the time you get to, like, World 5, have them take, like, four hits instead of three or something. And then maybe, like, by World, like, 7, have them maybe throw a, um, 
like a hammer or something. Because the boom booms are very like not challenging. Um, so those are some ideas I have that can, I feel like can maybe make it a little better. That's stuff I was thinking about, like going through it. But regardless of like my little thoughts, um, I, it was pretty, it was pretty good. Pretty decent one. I want to know what you guys think, honestly. I want to get your, the chat's opinion on, on this hack. Like, what did you guys think about it? Um... You can't believe they have the same irritating music for Bowser's Castle. I well, I mean, listen, the quality of the music. Um, I was just glad that there was different music. At least they like tried, you know. Um, some of the music tracks, you know, could have been maybe a little better, but like, at least there was different music. Because I get tired of listening to the same old Mario songs like over and over and over. And listen, it's hard to beat like actual Nintendo like the actual Nintendo music you know so it's like they tried uh what is that Z Balba just gave a bunch of bits I very much appreciate that thank you Z Balba JM says game is too easy for professional Mike the professional god what a friggin pro I'm not, though, so um, I think, I mean, oh, yeah, I, I played, like, a lot of, like, Mario hacks, so, like, maybe for somebody who's played less Mario 3 stuff, then maybe it would be more, I mean, that's, I, I mean, if you haven't played as much Mario 3 and Mario stuff as me, like, maybe, uh, it, maybe the difficulty's fine, I guess, I don't know. We need to add some charging chucks. Well, that's Mario. That's like a Mario World thing. So I'm not too disappointed about that. I do like when they add stuff from like Mario Land. I've seen hacks do that where they add like Mario Land and, and Mario 2 stuff. I think there was like a um, Shy Guy or something in there. Uh, and there was Birdo actually. So th that, they did they did do some Mario two stuff I guess a little bit I, there could have been like a little more of that but um, but it's a Mario 3 hack so I can't really complain a little bit of Mario land stuff I feel like I mean then again I didn't see every stage but if they would have had a couple stages that were like Mario land like references that would be maybe nice I don't know I'm just trying to think of anything this was a good stream. This hack was subpar. I don't like the idea of World 8 being the only part of the game where things are interesting. Fair. If the whole game was as hard as World 8, it would have been awesome. See, I wouldn't want the entire game to be as hard as World 8. I, I do, I, I, for Mario games, because that's the way Mario 3 was, I like the idea of it gradually ramping up. I just think that it should be like each of the earlier stages should have been more difficult than they were but not as hard as like level 8 you know just like a, make it a little bit more difficult like earlier and like like gradually like ramp it up and like again I, I know that like you know it's nice sometimes also because it's like we played a million of these games before right you could j just have a hack where it's like okay world world 1 is as hard as like world 8 or something but for me I like it where like has a gradual difficulty increase. Um, it just was too easy like earlier on, so they could have like ramped it up some. It was good. Felt like a lot. Felt a lot like real professional game in level design. Could have been. A bit harder earlier, yeah, especially since World 8 ended up being a huge difficulty spike just on technical level. The game was quite well put together. Yeah. I can't really complain too much. Uh, no elephant transforming bullshit. Oh my god, man. I hate that elephant transforming crap. The entire hack was bad and boring and lame and too easy and balls and shit and ass. Balls and shit and ass, huh? Okay, well that's Ken... Ken Boy's opinion. Early game was so boring we couldn't stop talking about rat, rat cocks. I mean, I can't argue that. 
Uh, difficulty should have progressed slightly with each world. I'm glad that he didn't do what most ROM hackers do and made every single level like World 8. It's nice to start. See, that's the, that's the thing is I wouldn't want, exactly, I don't want every level to be as hard as World 8. Because then, you know, what would have happened? It would have taken me like 10 times longer to get through and I wouldn't have been able to do this in one stream. And I think, how long was the stream? Like, like four and a half hours? Like, that's like actually like perfect for something like this like four and a half five hours that's like all i want to do and then i I'm, I'm 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 good i played my mario like hack like maybe like five and five five and a half hours or something like that and and if i would have done more stages it would have been like that but that's like i don't i don't want to fucking because if every world was as hard as world eight this would have been probably like at least two or three streams or something it, because it would have taken so fucking long and I don't want that, you know, so I'm alright with that. You were down to the wire at the end seems relatively balanced. Well, by the end. Some levels were way too simplistic and short, yeah. I felt like nine out of every ten chatter hated the music in this hack. Um... I mean, I, I'm not like, I wasn't like super crazy about the music or anything, but I'm just saying I'm glad that there was new music in it because a lot of times they don't bother to do that, so at least they bother to do it. Could the music have been better? Probably, but at least they, tr at least they tried. What do you want? They, don't, they probably didn't have a budget or anything, you know? The melodies were not only bad, but they didn't fit a Mario feel in your opinion. Okay. Some hacks are so long... Those little mixer, yeah, some hacks are so long thanks to the difficulty and there's no save or password and that sucks. Yeah. Agreed. And you've, you've done a bunch of, have you done, you do NES hacks? I know you, I've, a little mixer, I've seen you do like uh, Castlevania and stuff like that and some other things, but I don't know if I've ever seen you do a hack. You probably have, but wait, play it again, you missed. Well, you you're, you can watch it again later on YouTube or here on Twitch. So, you, <laughs> but I'll be stopping. They had a budget of eight quatloos. I bid another quatlu. Yeah. Well, if I had this, if I get season two of this, I'll be able to read all about the gamesters of Triskelion. <laughs> Back to Star Trek once again. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. That's it for today. Um, I think defeat this hack again properly. Oh, uh, that wasn't enough. Well, I have other hacks. Hey, before we end, actually. So here's some of the other stuff that I have. But I have... Uh, so remember, I played that, like, Zelda 2 hack the other day, and I really I wasn't, like, in love with it. So I have other ones. I have a lot of other ones, but I have... I was looking at... I think it was this one. This Nightmare of Ganon hack. So I might do that sometime soon. And, like, there's a lot of other ones here. I, I have to, like... These are ones that like I try, I tried and seemed like all right at first. But then what happens is sometimes like an hour into it, three hours into it, I'm like, oh, something about it I don't like. So I have to like literally like stream them to like really find out um, what I what I like or not. I mean, look how look, look at all the fucking Zelda hacks and shit. There's like there's tons. So don't worry, there's gonna be more Zelda. That's just Zelda too, by the way. And then they release more like all the time. So there's plenty. All kinds of hacks and stuff, and I, I know you guys like that stuff. All right. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching the stream. Uh, be sure to catch up with uh, my recent streams on YouTube if you've missed. I want to talk about real quick what uh, what we've done recently. If you ha you know if you haven't seen all the streams, so lately um, I streamed Star Fox sixty four. Um, I did G Darius. Um, I'll get that on YouTube soon. Uh, we did Deadpool Special Mission, which was a Contra hack. Um, I played Tailspin and Magical Chase on TurboGrafx-16. Magical Chase was really cool. 
Uh, I did Street Fighter 2010 finally. I know that was uh, one that you wanted to see for a long time as far as the NES games go. So if you haven't seen that, I, I beat Street Fighter 2010. Star Parade Year was a pretty cool game. That was uh, PC Engine. And uh, as far as more like modern games, it's kind of more modern, uh, I went through Vanquish. And Vanquish was a great game that I definitely recommend. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, I played uh, all through Final Fantasy VI. If you haven't been watching my streams in a long time, I did the entire game. Or, yeah, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy III in the U.S., Final Fantasy VI in the rest of the world or whatever. So, check all that stuff out if you've missed that. That's what I've done lately. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the subs tonight. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye, guys. Good night.